Amazing. How did you learn that? The Force told me so. It speaks to me. The Force feeling, is alive. Mental. It expresses its will in the physical world. This Tukata was one such form. Are we another of these forms? Sith are the highest manifestation of the Force's will. I've dissected hundreds of Tukata, forging a direct connection to the dark side. Each beast I examine advances me toward perfect unity. I now stand at a new frontier, but find myself thwarted. My most perfect specimen, a Tukata mutant, escaped to the tombs before I could analyze it. Perhaps I could help recover your specimen. Yes, I was hoping as much. My apprentice, Malora, saw which tomb the mutant beast fled into. Find out what she knows. Assist me, and you will be rewarded. I'll speak with Melora and do whatever is necessary, my lord. You found a great calling in my service. I trust you appreciate that. To me, it's a little bit mental. Like, just a little bit. Okay, so... I guess you're Melora. Yeah. Cool, cool. Seeking Lord Renning's lost pet, are you? <laughs> Don't waste your time. That fool's research is pointless. Tell me how you know this. My master is insane. Wasn't it obvious when you spoke to him? Renning deludes the Dark Council into believing he's advancing Sith knowledge. The truth is, he wastes the Empire's time and resources dissecting mindless animals. But if his experiments were discredited, he would be banished, and I would be rewarded. What am I supposed to do about it? Look, just a minor alteration to the mutant Tukata's brain would allow me to reveal my master as a fraud. Bring me the brain before delivering it to Lord Renning, and I'll make it worth your while. I might be interested. Perfect. Then we have an agreement. The mutant Tukata escaped to the tomb of Mark of Ragnos. It's much larger than the others, so it's easy to spot. Return to me with the brain before you see Lord Renning, and I'll take care of the rest. I like how it's like, uh, everyone wants to get one over on the other one, which is quite cool. You never know quite who you're working for, and quite what you're doing. <laughs> I do know I need to kill these things, so. <laughs> Sergeant Garrus, turns out the rumors were true. Some of the sentries we lost down here aren't dead. They lost their minds, just like the Acolytes. Doesn't mean we're going to have any easier a time getting the research supplies back, though. The crates are secured with multi-locks. If we're going to open these things without frying the contents, we need to get all the sentries' code cylinders back. I don't think negotiation is an option. The men aren't keen to take down their old comrades, but we'll do what we can. Once we have the code cylinders, we'll crack open the supply crates and get back. Take one out. Okay, so we're 
collecting these badges, apparently. Oh, that's a good ability. Stuff as well. automatically. Keep that in mind. You know what? This is the first MMO I've ever played that I just haven't constantly looked at the XP bar. I didn't actually know it was there to be honest. Um, I'm so engrossed in the actual story itself, I'm not even looking at the XP. That's just incredible. For a game to make you do that, especially an MMO, um, truly incredible. Okay, so let's go get this next cylinder, shall we? If any of you watch the Family Guy uh, tribute to Star Wars, that's a good Easter egg. <laughs> oh, that's that's really good.
die. Spirit walk without having to be a spirit, he's kind of wake up. Kind of cool. It's good to know that I can't actually kill like 400 things. Chance of hatred. I like how you got two ways to get this back as well. So you can either like ignore the insane guy or believe the insane guy. Either way you can complete the quest. <laughs> 